Some of the countries are gradually easing lockdown restrictions to restore normalcy. It's bringing you the updates from some of the COVID-19 hit countries. Most of the shows were cancelled in the Berlin Fashion Week this year due to the ongoing COVID-19 crisis. However, the city witnessed its only show in this prestigious Fashion Week this Tuesday. German designer Anja Grocker has presented her summer collection despite the virus scare. Models wore gowns with matching face masks to portray the new normal. However, strict health protocols were imposed to maintain safety during the event. Only a limited number of guests were allowed to control the uh, visitors' inflow. Now, guests were made to sit at safer distances to maintain social distancing. Thousands of Czechs celebrated the end of COVID-19 restrictions in the country with a dinner in the capital on Tuesday. Seated around a 500-meter-long table, Prague residents gathered on the Charles Bridge to mark the end of restrictions. The Czech Republic was one of the first countries in Europe to implement tough restrictions to curb the coronavirus spread since mid March. Now, the country has reported over 11,500 cases with over 340 deaths. Cameras using artificial intelligence have been installed on the streets of Ecuadorian city of Quito to check if people are maintaining social distance. These smart cameras track the distance between citizens out on the streets. An audio alert is then sent that warns citizens to follow the distancing norms. Ecuador is one of the worst affected Latin American countries due to the virus outbreak. The country has reported over 56,000 confirmed cases with more than 4,500 fatalities. Peru's biggest LGBTQ nightclub reopened as a grocery store to uh, cater to the increasing needs. The club will sell household products to its customers during the ongoing pandemic. Peru is all set to lift the lockdown restrictions in most of the regions from the 1st of July. However, clubs and bars are to remain closed to curb the spread of virus transmission. Tokyo Disneyland has opened its doors for the visitors after four months of closure due to COVID-19 outbreak. Strict precautionary measures have been implemented to ensure safety for the visitors. The visitors' capacity has been reduced to less than 50% and visitors need to have a prior online booking to get entry to the theme park. 